Hi, welcome back to Jackie Burns Creations. So glad everybody came to visit. We are doing a God Bless the USA host, Amanda of Six Kids and a Glue Gun, Chantel, and Brenda are the co-hosts. So let's get started. DIY number one. I found some things on Pinterest and then just on Google and I printed them off. I wanted an old fashioned look. So I'm cutting out different parts that I want. And I have this truck that uh, was left over when I used the sign at the top. It said, God bless the USA. And I used it on another project. So I was just taking the chains off of it. I found this just the other day. The Buffalo check at uh, a Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree is such a cool Dollar Tree. I can't believe how many things they have. Maybe they just don't have as many crafters in that area as I have in mine. So I'm just tracing the back side. Cut it out, and now I'm putting Mod Podge on the round. There's round, I think. I got it at Amazon. I did find a few at Dollar Tree, but that's been quite a while ago. Haven't seen any in a long time. I love Mod Podging fabric. It just takes to the Mod Podge so nicely. Oh, and Mod Podge is a plaid product. And I am a proud ambassador for plaid. And so I had to let it dry. Took a while. My heat gun died. So sad. Oh, I did put this on before the Mod Podge dried because it would stick on. It's one of the little cutouts I did. Just giving it a good old trim around the edge. Fabric doesn't do too well with the finger sander. That looks cool just the way it is. But I had to add the truck. Got to do something with it. And of course, I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on the raised part so it'll adhere. Okay, these little whirly gigs. I found these uh, last year at uh, my favorite thrift store and a whole package of them. There was quite a few and there was only 50 cents. So I thought, oh, what better time to use these than a uh, 4th of July patriotic theme. I used to always get these every summer. And of course, by the end of the summer, they're destroyed. I think my kids probably got a few too, but they're so fun. Now, does that shout 
4th of July patriotic. It's funny because it really does. Just pulling out some red, white, and blue ribbon. I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make a hanger. Seeing where I need to glue the other one. And just going over the top with a piece of the ribbon. Usually I put tape over them to hold them sturdy. Especially if they're outside. This will be an inside decoration though. There it is all done. I think it came out pretty crazy and cute. Project number two. Well, still using some of these little twirly things. Just getting that package open. Just trying to see where they were from. It didn't say. So I decided to use the red and the blue on this banner. You could get these burlap banner pieces at uh, Dollar Tree, but you know what? Eh, I wouldn't recommend them. Just trying to see where I want the placement on there. figure out how to get this thing off the best way and the best way was to snip it off with the wire cutters it just kind of smashed it but then it was easy to cut it with the scissors if I just tried to cut it with the scissors, they didn't work. Now, because of the these burlap banners being so sensitive and kind of falling apart, um, I think I'll go back and put like some kind of cardboard or paper stock or something on the back of them. So when I go to store them, they're just going to really fall apart. And I had to, uh, they have holes punched in them, but most of the holes are up by the top. And the rope doesn't go through. So I got these recently at Dollar Tree. Didn't see them at mine, but I saw them at that good one. They're a nautical bead. They're cute. But uh, I'm going to use them just for the beads. I kind of like the little square beads. They're cool. And they're white. I'll just save the little 
anchors for something else. I'm just trying to figure out how much I can put it in between each one to space them out. And I figured out the rope that came with the banners wouldn't be long enough. So I cut my own piece of twine. And uh, what I always do is I uh, put some hot glue on the end and go back a little ways and... When it's cooled just a teeny bit, I tap it with my fingers and twist it, and it makes it hard enough to make it like a needle. See, I got this first one on okay, but after that, no. See, the hole is just completely gone. So what I did was uh, put a little bit of glue on the rope and then just kind of tapped it down with my silicone brush. And I want to hold it along the whole thing. So I ended up gluing all the banners to the rope. Just kind of putting some of those threads from the burlap back in place. Okay, there it is all done. I think it looks pretty cute. Red, white, and blue, festive. I'll put it over my fireplace. Show you that in a minute. Yeah, just showing you where I glued all those on. And there it is hanging up. There's the truck. And they all go together nicely. DIY number three. Okay, I had some of these uh, At mason jar shapes. Okay, where am I? Who am I? And so I painted a couple of them white. Now I copied uh, God Bless America on a vintage looking parchment paper just on my printer and I mod podged it down 
And when I Mod Podged it down, I also put down a picture. I'm just kind of tearing off some of this because it's a little heavier paper. The napkins uh, clean up really nice with the sander, but the heavier paper was a little bit tougher. So anyway, I was... Uh, Oh, I bought a case of this uh, metal thread, or metal metal ribbon is what they called it. And I hadn't used it yet, and so I thought, oh, this is a good time to use it. I'll cover the top with it. So I'm just getting out my tin snips. Snipping off an edge. And I fold over the edges, but... Then I decided I probably need to paint that since part of it's white and part of it's the music. But first I need to measure all the lengths. This is really pretty stuff. Okay, there I am, just painting that white so it'll look better underneath. Okay, I took my clamps and I clamped down the one side and watch it, it's hot. Using my silicone spatula, getting it to stay down. And I just have to uh, Hold those down with the clamps for a second. Just using a little bit of oh, this was an idea that I didn't use. Sorry, I left that in. So then I decide these burlap flowers would be really cute. I got these on sale, I think last year, the year before at Michael's. Way cheaper than what they would retail for. So I just stuck those up in the corner and I want this to sit on an easel in my kitchen. So that's why I didn't put a hanger on it. But if I wanna hang it up, I can go back and put a hanger on it. And there it is, sitting on the easel in the kitchen. I hope you really liked all my projects and that uh, you would be encouraged to do something. If you do, go ahead and send me pictures and I will put them on my videos. And I love to see you change it up in a different way. So please go visit their channels. They are really talented ladies, and I just love working with every one of them. Please hit the red subscribe button and go visit my other channels on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you again real soon. Bye.